Hi, my name is Maria, and today I'll be showing you how to access the new 2020 Public Law 94 171 redistricting data through data.census.gov. Public Law 94 171, or PL 94 171, requires that the Census Bureau provide states the opportunity to identify the geographic areas for which specific tabulations of populations are needed and deliver those tabulations to the states in a timely manner for the purpose of legislative redistricting. Recently, we released a video tutorial on how to access the 2010 PL 94-171 redistricting data and have developed this tutorial to show you how to access the 2020 data and compare it to the data we have available from 2010. So, let's get started. Many users may want to access the new redistricting data to view the population and housing counts for their community. To do this, navigate to our site at data.census.gov and click on the advanced search button located directly under the single search bar. Once you click on that link, you will see our recently updated navigational interface, which includes a list of exposed filters on the left side of the screen. To access the redistricting data, click on the Surveys filter and select the Decennial Census option. Then scroll down the list until you see Redistricting Data with PL94-171 in parentheses. Click on the checkbox directly to the left of this survey title. One of the new features of our navigational interface is that when you select one filter, the other filters will automatically update to show what is available. For example, since I selected the redistricting filter, the years filter has now updated to show only the years 2000, 2010, and 2020, since the redistricting tables are released through the decennial census. So we'll select 2020 from these options. Next, Select the geography you want to view. For this example, I will use the city of Atlanta, Georgia. So I'll click on the geography filter and then select the place filter out of the most commonly used geography filters towards the top of the list. Since Atlanta is in Georgia, you will click on Georgia and the page will advance to show all places in Georgia. Then I'll scroll down the list and click on the checkbox directly to the left of Atlanta City, Georgia which should appear near the top of the list. It's also worth mentioning that you can add multiple geographies to your search. If I'm looking for data on Atlanta and say Detroit, Michigan, I will return to the breadcrumb labeled Georgia, which will take me back to the state selection page. Then select Michigan and scroll down the list to find Detroit City, just like I did for Atlanta. And that too would be added to the search. Once those filters are applied, click on the search button located at the bottom right corner of the screen directly to the right of the clear filters button. Tables P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5 contain population data and table H1 contains housing data. In this example, I'll click on table P1, race, to view population data for Atlanta and Detroit broken down by race for the total population, and then return to the results page and click on table H1, occupancy status, to view the occupied and vacant housing counts for Atlanta and Detroit. But what if we want to view and download data for smaller geographic areas, such as census blocks? If we want to find redistricting data for all census blocks within a county or state, we can start another search by clicking on the U.S. Census Bureau logo in the upper left corner of the screen and hitting the Advanced Search button. Since census blocks are only available for the decennial census, we will only need to select our geography in this search. For this example, I selected census blocks from Cumberland County, Maine. First, you'll click on Geography and then Block from the Most Commonly Used Geographies section. Scroll down the next list of states and select Maine, and then click on Cumberland County, Maine from the county list. Next, you'll need to select the census tract. For this example, I chose census tract one from Cumberland County. The last step is to select the blocks you wish to view. I just selected a few blocks towards the top of the list, blocks 1003, 
1004, and 1005. Then click on the search button. Select any table to view. For this example, I again chose table P1 race. To download the table to your computer, click on the Downloads Tables button on the top left side of the screen above the table list. This action will prompt empty checkboxes to appear beside each table name in the list on the left side of the screen. You can select multiple tables to download at once, but for now, let's just select table P1. Once that table is selected, scroll up to the Download Selected button at the top of the list and click on it. A pop-up menu will appear confirming that you're downloading the 2020 redistricting data as a CSV file. Once you click the download button in the lower right corner of the screen, you'll receive a message stating that the site is preparing the files. Once that is done, hit the download now button. This will download the .zip file to your download folder on your computer. Once you click on the download folder, you may be prompted to unzip the contents of the .zip file to one of the file folders present on your computer. I want to unzip the files to my downloads folder, so I'm going to click on Yes, Unzip the Files to Downloads. Next, I'm going to navigate to the download folder and open the file that has data with overlays in the naming convention and select the file to open in Excel. Now that I've clicked on that file and I've finished waiting for it to open in Excel, I can see the data available for the census blocks I've selected in the Excel file. You can also find and map PL94-171 data through data.census.gov. Let's say you want to find race and ethnicity data for the tracts in your county. For this example, let's use all census tracts in Cook County, Illinois. Again, we would click on the U.S. Census Bureau logo and go to the Advanced Search. Select the Survey Redistricting Data PL94-171 from the Decennial Census category. And next, let's select our geography for this example. Through the Geography filter, you will select Tract from the Most Commonly Used Geography section, and then Illinois as a state. Then, select Cook County, Illinois, and finally, all census tracts within Cook County, Illinois, to add it to your search. Click the search button as we did in our previous example searches and choose a table related to race and or ethnicity from the results page. For this example, I chose table P2, Hispanic or Latino, and not Hispanic or Latino by race. Another new change of our navigational update is that we moved a number of features to the table ribbon above the initial table view, which includes the mapping functionality. If you click the map button located in the table ribbon, you'll be redirected to a map that will zoom in on the state of Illinois and display the census tract boundaries for Cook County. The map will automatically default to show the 2020 PL total population of each census tract. To change the data variable that the map is showing, click on the Variables button, which is located on the top left side of the page above the map view. Once you click on the downward facing chevron next to the total label, you can scroll down the list and select any of the variables that are present in the table to view within the map. You can also use the search feature directly above the list to find a particular data variable. For example, if I want to find a data variable that contains the word 2, I can type 2 into the search bar and then select a variable that contains that word. Let's click on the data variable for total, not Hispanic or Latino, population of two or more races. Notice that the map updates with the data for the new variable I selected, and the map now shows that tracks in darker shades of blue have a higher number of people who identify as not Hispanic or Latino with two or more races. With the release of the 2020 redistricting data, you'll also be able to compare data from the 2010 redistricting data as well. To do this, return to the main landing page and click on the Advanced Search button again. From there, select the Redistricting Data option again through the Surveys Filter panel. Next, select the geography you wish to view. For this example, let's choose all counties within the state of Alabama. To do this, go to the Geography Filter and select County. 
Then select Alabama as your state. In the next filter panel, select all counties within Alabama, which is located at the top of the list, and then click on the search button on the bottom right corner of the screen. There are five tables that will appear in the results page that are available for both 2010 and 2020. Keep in mind the 2020 release includes the additional table P5, group quarters by major group quarters type. For this example search, I chose table P3, raised for the population 18 years and over. Once we click on the table, it will automatically default to the most recent 2020 data. To toggle between the 2010 and 2020 data, navigate to the product drop-down menu located at the top of the screen above the table. When you click on the downward facing chevron, you have the option of viewing either the 2010 or 2020 redistricting data. When you click on the 2010 option, the table will automatically update to show data from 2010. You can toggle between 2010 and 2020 to compare the data directly and you can see the changes in the geographies you selected. In this final example, let me show you a few features that will allow you to customize PL94-171 data tables in the table view. We will return to the advanced search page once again and select our surveys and years filters. Then click on the search button and select a table to view. For this example, I chose table P4, Hispanic or Latino, and not Hispanic or Latino, by race for the population 18 years and over. As you've seen throughout this tutorial, the table view has changed quite a bit since our last update. The filters are now exposed along with the table list on the left side of the screen, and you can collapse those panels using the chevrons in the top right corner of the panels to get a larger view of the table. As I mentioned in a previous example, we have moved the table ribbon that used to be in the customized table view to now be displayed in the original table view, which provides a more streamlined user experience. This ribbon provides another option to add additional filters to the table. You can select any of the filters that would be present on the advanced search page for the survey and the table will automatically update to reflect the applied filters. You can also view table notes, which are shown here, and can be hidden by clicking on the notes button again. You can also download or export the table to Excel, print the table, or use the map button to return to the map view of this table. I hope this tutorial provided insight on how to access the new 2020 PL94-171 redistricting data through data.census.gov. For more guidance on using our site, please visit our resources page at the link provided below. Thank you.